Hey guys, welcome back to Brief Card. Today, I have got an exciting video for you. Here, we are briefly discussing the history behind the most popular gift items for children and are often given to adults, that is, teddy bear. We've all played with one at some point with this. Since the creation of the first teddy bears that sought to imitate the form of real bear cubs, teddies have greatly varied in form, style, color, and material. Teddy bears are among the most popular gifts for children and are often given to adults to signify affection, congratulations, or sympathy. The name Teddy Bear comes from former United States President Theodore Roosevelt, who was commonly known as Teddy, who became the 26th President of the United States in 1901. Being an avid outdoorsman and naturalist, Roosevelt loved to explore the natural world. The name originated from an incident on a bear hunting trip in Mississippi in November 1902, to which Roosevelt was invited by Mississippi Governor Andrew H. Longino. Teddy Roosevelt accepted the hunting invitation from the Mississippi Governor. Their guide was a man named Holt Collier, and he was determined to help an eager Roosevelt to find a black bear. On the second day of their excursion, Collier came across one. Collier, who knew Roosevelt was significantly behind him with Longino, decided to tie up the bear to a willow tree for Roosevelt. They called Roosevelt to the site and suggested shooting it. However, on arrival, Roosevelt was astonished and refused to shoot the bear himself, deeming this unsportsmanlike. Clifford Berryman, a political cartoonist, decided to lightheartedly satirize the president's refusal to shoot the bear. Berryman's cartoon appeared in the Washington Post on November 16, 1902. Then, a couple in Brooklyn, New York, Rose and Morris Mictum saw the cartoon. They owned a penny candy shop and decided, for fun, that they would make a stuffed plush bear and display it in the window to honor the president. Rose cut out some pieces of fabric and sewed on some button eyes and put it in the window in his candy shop window at 404 Tompkins Avenue in Brooklyn with a sign, Teddy's Bear. It was an overnight hit. So much so that the Mitchdoms had to ask if they could use Roosevelt's name for the bear. Roosevelt obliged, and their business took off. The toys were an immediate success, and Mictum founded the ideal novelty and toy co. Roosevelt's children were some of the first to play with the teddy bear. Although not confirmed, it is said that as a gift the Mightums gave the above bear to Kermit Roosevelt, who was 13 at the time. The bear was a constant reminder to the children of the tenderness of their father and his deep connection to the natural world. Meanwhile, around the same time, in Germany, the Steiff firm produced a stuffed bear from Richard Steiff's designs. Steiff exhibited the toy at the Leipzig Toy Fair in March 1903, where it was seen by Hermann Berg, a buyer for George Borgfeldt or company in New York. He ordered 3,000 to be sent to the United States. Although Steiff's records show that the bears were produced, they are not recorded as arriving in the US, and no example of the same has ever been seen, leading to the story that the bears were shipwrecked. Although Steiff and Mictum were both making teddy bears at around the same time, neither would have known of the other's creation due to poor transatlantic communication. Early teddy bears were made to look like real bears, with extended snouts and beady eyes. Modern teddy bears tend to have larger eyes and foreheads and smaller noses, and baby-like features intended to enhance the toy's cuteness. Some teddy bears are also designed to represent different species, such as polar bears and brown bears, as well as pandas and koalas. While early teddy bears were covered in tawny mohair fur, modern teddy bears are manufactured in a wide variety of commercially available fabrics, most commonly synthetic fur, but also velour, denim, cotton, satin, and canvas. And that's for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful if you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and give your thought about it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Stay curious.